there are some things in life that you cannot cook in the microwave. And there are some things in school that you can't do either. Watch this video. Hey, what's up? This is Cantor Simmons, academic success expert and leading authority on student achievement. And today, I want to help you build some strong study habits. Now, before I do so, I want to tell you this quick story. A few weeks ago, my mom, uh, she cooked me a chicken pot pie. She brought it to me. I ate it. And man, that chicken pot pie was so awesome. It was so awesome that the next few days, I was absolutely fiending chicken pot pies. So I went to the local grocery store and I, I purchased me maybe about five chicken pot pies. I took the first pot pie, I opened it up, I put a few holes in the crust, stuck it in the microwave for maybe four to five minutes, pulled the chicken pot pie out, ate the chicken pot pie. And then I noticed that the chicken pot pie, it didn't taste as good as my mom's chicken pot pie. So the next day came around, I did the exact same thing. I said, well, maybe I cooked it too, um, they cook it long enough. So I pulled the chicken pot pie out, put a few more holes in the crust, put the chicken pot pie in the oven, and I put it on five minutes and 30 seconds. Pulled the chicken pot pie out, ate it, and then I noticed again, it still doesn't taste like my mom's chicken pot pie. So I called my mom, I was like, mama, 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 I'm cooking chicken pot pies over here, and I noticed that my chicken pot pie doesn't taste like your chicken pot pie. She said, well, son, what are you doing? I said, mom, I'm simply taking the chicken pot pie out the box, putting a few holes in it, sticking it in the microwave and eating the chicken pot pie after it cools down. She said, son, you put the chicken pot pie in the microwave. She said, baby, I don't do that. I don't put the chicken pot pie in the microwave. I put it in the oven. She said, son, there are some things that are not microwavable. There are some things that are not microwavable. As a student, whether you're a middle school student, high school student, college student, returning school, or maybe you're taking some classes online. When it comes to these school books and studying, it's not microwavable. You know, we do live in a society where everything is fast. We have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. Uh, we can text message somebody, email somebody, and things happen very fast. But here's the thing. When you're studying for your subjects, when you really want to achieve academic excellence, you have to take some time where studying those subjects are concerned. And what I want to do, I want to give you four things that you can do to build and to strengthen your study habits. Number one, I want you to begin to write out a specific goal for your study time. Let's say that you're sitting down to study chemistry for about two hours. What's the goal for that two hour span when you're studying chemistry. Go ahead and write down the specific goal. For example, I will learn the periodic table or the elements of the periodic table over these next two hours. If you're studying uh, mathematics or doing calculus, write down a specific goal. I will understand the Pythagorean theorem within these next two hours. Step number one or habit number one is begin to write a specific goal for your study time. Number two, I want you to establish a specific place to study and only study in that specific place. Let's think for a second. When you sit down or you lay down in the bed, your body knows to go to sleep. When you sit down at the kitchen table, your body knows it's time to eat. When you even sit down to watch television on the sofa, your body knows to enjoy the entertainment. And truth be told, when you go to the bathroom, your body knows exactly what to do, <laughs> right? So the same way your body is programmed with the kitchen, the bedroom, the bathroom, the sofa, go ahead and program your body to have a specific place to study. When you sit in that place, your entire being knows it's time to study and it's time to focus. Here's step number three. I want you to set a specific time to study a specific subject every single day. Yes, every single day, Set a specific time to study a specific subject and do it every single day. If you're studying chemistry or math or English or you're uh, in literature, what time of day are you studying that subject? And do you do it every single day? This rolls over to um, habit number four, or study tip number four. 
which is to study your more challenging subjects when you're most energetic. You know, a lot of times students will wait to study those harder classes late in the evening, probably around the time period they're lethargic. But if you find yourself having uh, challenges in certain classes, make sure you start studying those uh, subjects when you're most energetic. Maybe you're a morning person. Maybe you're an afternoon person. Maybe you're a late night person like myself. Whenever you feel your superpowers, that's the time period for you to study. So there are four tips, study tips that you can start to implement right now. Number one, set a specific goal for your study time. Write it out. Write out the goal for that study time. Number two, establish a set place to study. And the only thing you do in that place is study. Number three, set a specific time every single day to study a specific subject. And then number four, make sure you study your more challenging subjects when you're most energetic. Hopefully that was helpful for you. If it was, I would love for you to leave me a comment and let me know what you thought about this video. Also, if you have any other challenges academically or with school that you would want me to shoot a video about and give you some of my advice, just leave me a comment and I will do uh, that as well. And you know what? There's only one game in life. There's only one thing in life, one thing in school that you can do, and that's to play your A game.